Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add a Perlin noise to your drawing to make it look a little bit more textured. Um, first of all, I'd like to say that um, I am doing a voiceover of this recording. I was having a little bit trouble with connecting my microphone with OBS on Mac. So this is a voiceover of a recording. So the timing may be a little bit off. So what is Perlin Noise? Perlin Noise is a uh, algorithm that was created by Ken Perlin. Uh, he was a computer uh, generated animator, I guess. And uh, he noticed that all of his computer generated images had this machine-like look, what he called machine-like, or it's kind of like a glossy or, or a shiny look. Um, anybody who's done digital can, can attest to this that their coloring and it just looks not natural it looks really flat so uh, he developed this uh, Perlin noise algorithm that kind of generates this random noise uh, that he puts over on the skins of these generated images to make it look more realistic so Clip Studio Paint actually has a built-in Perlin noise uh, filter so here's a drawing I did of a character of mine. Uh, I've shown it before. You can see here the pant legs and the trench coat, the coloring, and it looks really smooth. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just uh, really smooth. Um, and uh, so what I like to do is I like to um, uh, select the character. Uh, you can apply the filter to the whole layer or the whole canvas, but usually I just apply it to where I want it. Uh, so I'm going to go to the layer where I have uh, the line art that I did for this character And so you can see that here uh, I have that layer selected and so I'm going to go to uh, a selection tool here uh, Let me see I'll go to it here eventually So uh, the, the magic wand so I'm going to select outside the character um, and so that creates a uh, boundary around the whole uh, character in general. And there's this little piece underneath this leg that was not selected. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to invert my select or just hold down shift and then uh, with the magic wand uh, select that area. And then I'm going to invert my selection. So now the white background is not selected but the character itself. I can show you here, I'll create a new layer on the very top, dump some red paint, and you can see that the whole character is selected. So I'm going to undo that, we don't need red paint. Um, so what we're going to do now is, like I said, I created a new layer on top of uh, all the other layers, and, and it has the character selected. So you go to filters, and right here on render, there's this uh, selection called Perlin Noise. Uh, usually what uh, you can do here, the very first slider allows you to uh, adjust the scale of the noise uh, usually I found out for me something around 10 usually works out the best um, this is very uh, CPU intensive so give it some time to render as you can see it's kinda slow on my computer uh, like I said 10 is usually what I, I, I like to use and I leave the rest of the uh, options uh, as is and so now I have a noise, a Perlin noise over my entire character. And uh, you can see that's what it looks like. Um, the next option is to change the layers property over here on this drop down menu to overlay. And now you can see that uh, the noise has been overlaid on top of the character's colors and everything. So um, if it's a little too uh, grainy or too intense for you, uh, usually what I do is lower the opacity. Uh, this is what it looks like with the opacity set to 50. So half of what uh, its intensity is. And so that's it. That's basically adding a Perlin noise to your drawing. Um, there is another method you can use. Uh, it's more uh, time intensive. Um, but what you can do is... Uh, you can pretty much choose different types of noise for different um, areas or parts of your character if you wanted to. Because um, the Perlin noise is pretty much the same uh, across the whole character there. You can see 
his uh his trench coat and his skin and his pants all have the same texture um but like i said you can uh you can do uh, this other method is like i said more time intensive so uh usually what i do is go on google images and search for a noise uh template and you can find all these different types of uh images of noise uh and download just one or two or three and save them on your desktop and so now what i'm going to do is uh um you don't have to create a new layer but i i did for some reason import um the image that you downloaded from google images and hit ok and so now you can uh scale it however uh big or small you want it now if if you do scale it smaller uh like it won't fit your entire area that you want to put a noise over you're gonna have to um copy copy the image over and over and, and then kind of tile it i didn't show that here because it, again this is very time consuming um so i just want this uh, particular noise over the coat the trench coat so um uh, for that um i'm deleting that extra layer so for that uh noise you can see that uh see it's kind of it's kind of the same as a Perlin noise but uh, you know you can you can adjust it uh smaller or, or larger on the fly so here i'm just going to uh cover the coat so oh by the way i changed that layer property to overlay that's why you're not seeing it on the white area so um so i'm trying to adjust it so that it it um it covers the entire trench coat so i'm just going to rotate the image because it's it's more long ways this way and then uh, make sure it covers the entire area you want to apply the noise to and so now because this is an object where you can manipulate it uh, what you got to do before you start uh, cutting it I mean uh, um, erasing you have to render r rasterize the image so uh, under layer go to rasterize and then this image is now rasterized and so now you can grab your selection tool and the easiest uh, thing for me to do is select the area that you want the noise on so in this case the trench coat so what I'm doing here is just outlining the uh, trench coat I don't need his hand um, and then on the other side I hold down the shift button and it allows me to continue making selections so holding down the shift button I can continue making more selections of the other side of the trench coat uh, I'm gonna have to take the hand there uh, but once every the area is selected I go to invert so now I've inverted the selection so now everything outside the the trench coat is selected and this little circle of dots here is the uh, delete button so that will delete the uh, the noise from anywhere outside of the selection or the trench coat in this case and then I can go back and just with the eraser uh, erase where the uh, noise is on like I don't want it on his hands so I'll erase it from his hands and again like I said uh, with this technique you can uh, if you have another image of a of a different style of noise you can uh, uh, apply that too and do the same thing um, here again I'm, I'm making it long wise so that uh, I can uh, select the the uh, the pants. I want to put this over the pants. So I'm I'm gonna pretty much do the same thing. I just uh, cover, try to cover the whole pants, and then rasterize the uh, the image, and then. Uh, once once uh that's uh, that covers the the entire pants i can uh, now uh, select just the pants and then i'll i'll invert the selection so that it's now selecting outside the pants with the invert there and then uh, with the circle of dots here to delete anything outside anything that's in the selection area which is everything outside the pants and so 
and so there I have just I have two different types of noise on top of um, uh, on my character there uh, and then of course I can adjust the opacity um, to make it as uh, intense or not as intense as I want uh, that's up to the artist's preference I guess but yeah there's there's two types of uh, methods that you can use to uh, add kind of a noise or a texture to your characters um, to, to not make it so uh, like Perlin said machine like but by far uh, the Perlin noise is, is really the uh, the easiest uh, method so I hope you guys learned something um, and uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing I make clip studio paint tutorial videos like this one and uh, yeah uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs>